This is Paul Fentz of Germany in his first Grand Prix appearance, 25 years old from Berlin, in 10th place after the short program. Opening past the solo triple axle. Powerful to the outside, but he holds on to that landing. Next, on to the only planned quadruple jump, the toe loop. Very nicely done. Triple loop, a little forward on the landing. You want to see the run of the edge out of the air. Triple Lutz, very easily executed as we enter the second half of this program. The second triple axle. To the outside, you see the double three, very smart to get that combination in. Triple sow, double toe loop. Triple Lutz just hesitates to get into the rotation. Doesn't give himself enough time to get the check out. Double Axel hanging on to his final jump.
Some nice elements, but you could see him get gassed at the end of that free program. Paul Fence was 10th at Europeans last February, 20th at Worlds in his first appearance, and that qualified a spot for the German men at the Olympics. We'll have the marks for Paul Fence when we return as our coverage of the men's free skate continues from Skate Canada. Here's a look at the rest of the Grand Prix schedule next week. We head to Asia, Grand Prix China in Beijing, followed by a stop in Osaka, Japan. And then it's on to Grenoble for Grand Prix France. And we'll wrap up the regular season at Skate America in Lake Placid Thanksgiving weekend. Two weeks later, the Grand Prix final back in Japan. Paul Fence not originally selected for Skate Canada. He got in off of the alternate list, so maybe not as much preparation. That's always a difficult place to be. You try to look at your season in advance, place your training schedule so that you can peak in time for certain events. Obviously a great opportunity to be able to be on the Grand Prix series, but difficult when you're doing your tapering and your peaking throughout the season.